Hey everyone, welcome back to another 2021 Clean With Me. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on the entire house, but also focusing on this living room. If you guys remember, I told you that the owner of the house asked me to refresh and update this space. So I'm going to be doing the living room on a budget. Just adding a few things to make this room light and bright and bring it a little bit more up to date. So I'm really excited to share some of the things that I have with you. Of course, as always, I love to share the real life mess with you guys, just so you know that you and I are in the same boat with a lot of mess and a lot of things to do. So I wanna give you a glimpse of what's going on here today. I will be deep cleaning this living room because it desperately needs it. I wanna remind you guys, if you love cleaning videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and it just lets you know when I upload new videos every single week. So I'm coming into the living room first and foremost. As I had mentioned, I'm gonna be deep cleaning this room and also doing a total new year refresh for this living room, showing you guys some really super affordable ways to just bring some light and brightness into a room, but also bringing it up to date. As you can see, there is a ton of brown in here. And although brown is a great color, this being a lake house, it's supposed to be super light and airy. So that's what I'm gonna do. But first I have to pick up all of the mess that's in here. I'm gonna put away my nebulizer. I was using Josiah's nebulizer, which looks like a little baby seal. And I'm gonna fold up all these blankets and just start picking up all of the junk on the floor. Because these are reclining couches, they get so much stuff under it. I'm sure, honestly, if I think about it, all couches get stuff under it, but I'm not used to actually seeing under the couch. So I am using my broom and just trying to sweep up as much of this as I possibly can. I also will give you a, like I had showed you at the beginning of the video, you saw underneath there, it was a mess. So good old fashioned broom really helps that. And then I'm gonna put away some of these little art supplies. You may notice I have got a new friend here helping me with my cleaning and Chris and I talked about it quite a bit. He was getting rather fed up with the shark, as was I. So we went ahead and used a little money and got this Dyson. It is the V11. I think it's outset. I think it's what it's called. It has got a larger canister and we decided to just splurge and do it, especially for the new house. Speaking a little bit more about the vacuums. So I like the shark. I think it's great, but for us and our family, I don't know if it's because we have boys or so many kids or 
before we use it too much but I felt like it was constantly getting clogged so it was really frustrating and the attachments were not easy to use personally so that is why I'm doing away with it I think I'm probably going to donate it or just use it upstairs in the new house it is a great vacuum but if you have like lots of little Legos and things it doesn't quite work out for us So I'm also taking this rug. I'm gonna show you the new rug I added. And I'm gonna be putting this somewhere, asking the owners what they want me to do with it. But first, I am going to wind it up with some shipping tape so it just stays rolled up. Okay, so I got this rug. This is a five by eight and sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, I got it from Home Goods. It's $129 and I love it because it's a low pile, which we need here because they always, the dogs always track in. You can see it on Ruby's feet, track in these like things from the trees and all kinds of stuff. So I really like this pile because it'll be easy to clean. Here's the, here's one of them. Um, I like the neutral of the gray and the blue because this is a lake house and I wanted to keep the same. Um, I wanted to bring in more blues because everything's very brown here. Lots of brown. So I wanted to bring in blues. I was hoping this would work better but I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep it for a while and see how I feel because if I don't end up using it here, then I'll put it somewhere else in this house or I'll take it to the new house. But either way, I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna see how it works. This coffee type, excuse me, coffee table is way oversized, way oversized. So I'm looking for one a little bit smaller. And what we do is whatever I pay, and decor that stays here, it just gets taken off of the electricity bill. So I'm not out of pocket anything. So if this doesn't end up working, then I'll just go and find something else. But I love it. It's super soft, like it is so, so soft. And again, I needed something like this because I'm always getting stuff. But I don't know how I feel about it for this area. The main reason I wanted it is because when you pull this couch out, it always pushes back that is like a whole nother whole nother conversation so i don't know i don't know just yet we'll see um, i'm going to continue to decorate i've got some pillows a blanket i'm picking up some shears today from target and i'm picking up some lamp shades i'm going to replace these lamp shades with something lighter and uh, just continue to clean this space. In normal Lynn fashion, as soon as I got done talking about this part of the rug, I immediately got on to uh, Google and looked for a new rug because I, I, I just can't. But this rug will be so pretty over there in the play area. So I went ahead and ordered a, another rug, same brand, I think it's called, I don't ever say this right, I think it's like Safia or Safia, I don't know. S-A-F-I, I don't know, I'm not gonna try to spell it, but I got one very, very, very similar. 
I got an eight by 10 because that's what this space needs. This five by eight will look great over there. So it'll be here January 18th. So I'm gonna leave this here, obviously. I'm gonna go pick up my order to hang up the curtains and do the uh, lamps and then we will finish up. So I'm really excited because I'm really loving how bringing all these blues is just like making it look so cozy in here. I am back from my little Target pickup. Target pickup is my favorite. Let me know if you guys use that as well. I hardly ever go into Target anymore. And I got these lampshades. This is the Project 62 brand. They were only $20 and I think they are perfect. Not only the shape is gonna make this space more up to date, but it's light and bright. And Target has great things, I think we all know that. So do you see how much brighter the space already is, even with the light? the lampshade lighter. I was very, very pleased with this. Next, moving on to these curtains. This is a set of two panels, 84 inch light filtering, light filtering curtains, and they were $20. I didn't realize there was a set in two of two, but I am so happy. They do filter a little bit of the light. Obviously, it's not like light blocking, but they're light and airy, which is really what I wanted for this space because I don't wanna obstruct the view of the lake. So I added these on. There's two ways. You can kind of put it in the behind the little pocket when hanging these curtains, or you can have the grommet. So I really, really like these. I thought they were pretty, and oh my gosh, you can't beat $20 for two panels. I'm gonna continue to dust these areas with my pledge. I like to use the Swiffer first to pick up any dust that is loose in the air, and then I will wipe down these little, tiny little, I don't know what they are. Not, I guess side table, they look like nightstands to me. But um, I'm gonna ask her if she wants me to paint them. I'm not really sure. And then I'm gonna to continue to clean up some of this mess. Oh my gosh, Legos everywhere. And look at these baseboards, they are so bad. They never were really painted, I don't think. It looks like it's just the primer and you can still see some of the wood filler on there. So I am cleaning this as best as I possibly can.
So the back of that area right there, that will be another conversation and another <laughs> home refresh video. It is just too much to even like comprehend back there. It's so much I need to donate if she's okay with it and just start to work on that area next. So as I mentioned, the shark, the diet, the attachments are just not good at all, in my opinion. I just found that they were really hard to use. So I was really excited to get my Dyson out and use the attachments. They make life so much easier, especially in these crevices. I am going to have to wash these rails here, but today I honestly just did not have the energy to do this. I, this is a whole house clean, but it's also an all day clean. So my body was aching. It was the most I have done in probably almost three weeks with being so sick. My lungs are feeling so, so good and much better, but I am definitely not 100%. But I wanted to push myself today for this video and then rest the next day, which I did. I slept about 12 hours of the next day and then came home after Josiah's soccer game and ended up taking another two hour nap. So behind here are a ton of cords and I was going to take them all out and just redo everything but I just, y'all know how it is with TVs and cords and sound bars and all the things. So I decided to just wind up the things that were just sitting there loose. I'm using shipping tape for this to make it really easy. You can find shipping tape anywhere and just wind up these cords like I'm doing. I want to remind you guys that some days it's progress, not perfection. If you can get things done, even if it's not the finished product like I would like, I would like this whole wall done and the mirrors taken down and all the things but that's just not feasible so you make the best out of the time and the effort that you have and just be excited about that because everything doesn't have to be perfect all the time that's not real life and we don't always have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to go and redo a space or put shiplap on the wall or even paint paint can be expensive so I was really excited to show you some of these really affordable ways to bring some light into an area and update it just a little bit. You don't have to spend a ton of money. And that is one thing that I really strive for on my channel is to keep it super relatable because if you're like me, you don't have hundreds of dollars to go out and just redo a space at some sort of whim when you want to. So these are just tips and tricks on how to make the space look really inviting for very little money.
something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions, but somehow it came to an end. I was looking for a remedy. So I am gonna put away some of the cereals here because I went crazy buying cereals. I love cereal. Let me know in the comments if you guys love cereal. Cereal and chips are probably some of my favorite things, but I rarely eat cereal just because it has a lot of sugar in it. And with everything, with the COVID and the pneumonia and everything, I felt like my body was feeling so much less inflammation because of changing my diet completely with the pneumonia and being really cautious so i want to stay on track and continue to do a lot less sugar um, minimal carbs and just healthier foods I, I eat very very well but i want to take it the next level because there were a couple of days there where i felt absolutely amazing i'm definitely feeling tired again but I don't want to give up that amazing feeling. So I'm going to take some really special time for my health. So here I'm not doing anything special. I just have some palm olive um, dish soap in this little brush here. I squirted on the cooktop and I'm just scrubbing it clean. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. I love how little Noah likes to hop on and just say hi to you guys. It's so cute and he'll tell me, I love to help you clean mom or I love to say hi to them. It just <laughs> makes me so happy. He can be the sweetest little guy ever. Moving on into my room, I usually make my bed first thing in the morning, but I got up and I had to go quickly this morning, so it didn't happen. If you don't make your bed first thing in the morning, don't think that's you're at a loss. Go and make it when you think about it. There have been many a days where I have made my bed right before I get back in it, and I'm not even kidding. I cannot get into a messy bed. It just drives me crazy, but I cleaned up the room, making it feel better and just trying to get everything feeling so much more organized in this space. So I have been putting all of their items in my closet here or I put them in a box that way. I'm not discarding anything and trying to be courteous to their items because I wouldn't wanna, you know, disrespect their stuff. So I'm gonna fold all of these things here and then put them on the top shelf in my closet.
So I am 99.9% sure this is our last baby. I don't I foresee myself ever trying again. Um, and I am very thankful that so far she's healthy. We have an appointment on Wednesday to have the anatomy scan. I'll be 24 weeks. It's a little late, but that's just what happened with us getting sick and the holidays and whatnot. So I'm really super excited to see her next Wednesday and I'm praying that she is all good to go. But I have so many maternity clothes that I have invested in that I think when I am done with this baby, I'd like to donate it to whoever one of you guys that need maternity clothes. I know it's not always easy to get things. I know it's not for me personally to always just go out and buy all new things. So I am going to be donating all of my maternity items to one of my subscribers who is in need. This entryway is such a mess all the time. I was thinking about my friend and I were talking about building a shiplap hall tree, but with a very like with no bench, just like the shiplap and then a shelf and then some hooks for their backpacks. But now the, I'm in here and I am cleaning this whole area up. Oh my gosh, I think it definitely needs an area for the shoes. So I might have to reconfigure this space a little bit. I don't know if you guys noticed throughout this entire video, I've had my broom out and I have been sleeping off the baseboards. The baseboards had never, I don't think they have ever been cleaned in here, which is no big deal. And I am sweeping off the baseboards. That really, really helps get the dust and the dirt off of them. So you don't have to get on your hands and knees and scrub. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows, no you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away It is time to finish up with some laundry and you're not done with laundry until you wash, you dry, 
you fold, you hang up, and you put away. That is when you're done with laundry, and that is something that I need to do better. In 2021, I need to do better, you guys. Tell me what you guys are hoping to do more efficiently and better in 2021. I know for so many people, 2020 was such a heartbreaking year, but let's just take a moment and try to find some positive in it, whatever it may be. That may be hard, and I don't know what everyone has gone through, but my goal this year is to combat my negative thoughts, which I have a lot. I have a lot of negative self-talk. I want to combat that with positive. Example, I am so upset that I got COVID and pneumonia, but the way I'm going to combat that thought is... I am so happy that I'm going to build immunity to COVID. I am so happy that I took my health um, into consideration even more due to the pneumonia. I am so happy that I feel like I was spared and I get a new lease on life. I am thankful for COVID for those reasons. It may sound super silly, but I'm telling you guys, we have got to change our mentality in 2021. Something awful can happen and you can find some sort of silver lining. So let 2021 be your year of silver linings. But let's come together as friends. I'd like to be your friend on this side of the internet and just find our positive thinking, our prayer, our encouragement. Surround yourself by loving, kind people who uplift you and motivate you. No more negativity and no more negative self-talk. And let's be the best version that you can possibly be this year. Not only for your family, but for yourself. Because you have to do it for yourself. And you can't pour out of an empty cup. So I encourage you, if you got to wake up earlier, you got to make a to-do list, get things done, have a positive mind, be kind to others please 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 be kind to others because you do not know what anybody else is going through smile at someone take an extra moment and tell them how you feel with love and gratitude and have the best life you can possibly have i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next one bye